As one does, I find myself googling a question that randomly came to mind, which may or may not inform my future decision making, and I found a Irish Independent article from 2012 which brought a mischievous smile to my face. Outrage as at Nazi flag that flew in garden. It told the story of a community of little hobbits who were terrified that Sauron and his orcs might one day come marching through their village if they caught wind of the supporters who lived among them. A family home out in the Shire flew a low-quality NSDAP flag out the back of their private home, near one of those plastic kids' playhouse things, alongside a United States flag. Passers by, in quotes, or more accurately, a politically active Irish Jew by the name of Dennis Foley approached the Gardee and one of his buddies in Fine Gael. Although no prohibitions exist in Irish law against the display of the swastika, it was removed under the powers of both Prohibition Against Inciting Hatred Act of 1989 and generally under public order. As we all know, whether in the Shire or the domesticated inner cities, the hobbits are really quite afraid of this demonic sigil. They're convinced that its very appearance in their environment would trigger something inside of the now-civilized orcs and send them on a crazed killing spree. In their mystical world, things like jokes and critical thinking when it comes to the potential return of Sauron are not worth the candle. And neither are cultural differences. Despite how often and passionately you hear them defend cultural relativism, God forbid Africans, Arabs and Indians would have a difference of experience and conclusion on history than that of the supremely intelligent hobbits. When they say his name shall not be uttered, you damn well listen and not name your clothing stores and restaurants after him. Accurate yet cringeworthy metaphor aside, I honestly don't see what the fuss is. If I didn't live in such an irrational world, I would erect a 30-foot pole in my front garden and alternate the NSDAP flag, the starry plough, and the Confederate battle flag. The courageous men of 1930s Germany, post-colonial Ireland, and 1800s America deserve to be remembered. Yet we live in a time of complete and utter reversal of truth. Where's the outcry when the United States flag is flown by Irish hotels or other institutions? A symbol of a fascist regime under which hundreds of millions have died from the countless broken Native American treaties to the oil fields of Arabia and the diamond mines of Africa. Where's the outcry when communists fly the hammer and sickle, red star, or distribute media with those insignias on them? A disgusting anti-human philosophy that has taken a collective of 700 million lives. Where's the outcry when the Israeli flag or Star of David is flaunted in literature or on television? A symbol of a group of savage nomads who now own a state, responsible for the genocide of an entire nation, as well as the subversion of the entire West, which we fight the wars for and which is responsible for the majority of lives taken under the aforementioned flags. This might seem like a non-issue or an unfair comparison to you, but that is just the extent of your brainwashing. If human lives are truly your concern, then you'd be less frightened of the swastika than you would be of the blood-soaked flags governing the people who conquered Germany. Instead, most of us are very comfortable in our conditioning since the violence has not yet gotten to our doorstep, and even when it does, we'll place the blame on the messenger and not the true cause. We're people of fairy tales, ideologies that we defend with emotion because we'll know 
because we know they'll never stand up to the scrutiny of critical thought. We are murderers by virtue of our existence. We are sleepwalkers, pushing the gears of the infernal machine engulfing the world. Yet we want to pretend as though we give a shit and that we're humanitarians by getting upset over a goddamn swastika in somebody's backyard.